While staying in the nation's capital, where the House of Representatives says it is set to amend its standing orders to accommodate e-petitions and facilitate the use of technology in receiving and processing public petitions. The Speaker Abbas Tajuddin made this known at the unveiling of a digitalized hearing room for the Public Accounts Committee. And National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. The Public Accounts Committee is set up primarily to hold government institutions accountable on the use of public funds as it digs into audit queries. In doing this, it usually receives documents in sacks, many of which become meals for rodents. How are you? It is in changing the narrative that the committee has decided to go paperless. The committee says this is to enhance efficiency, transparency and accountability. These laptops are quite a whole lot of rich resources, including the laws of the Federation, all the establishment acts of every ministry, department and agency in Nigeria is found here. Legislative law reports, every decision of Nigerian court on legislative matters from 1987 till date. Some of the government agencies say the digitization is a challenge to reduce paperwork and attain more goals. For the speaker, the digitization is another milestone achievement of the third house at one year. He says public petitions are also on the way to becoming digitalized. These initiatives are part of the activities marking the first anniversary of the third house of representatives. The people's house, they, also, they are also integral to our legislative agenda, which prioritizes good governance by leveraging technology and digital media to ensure that legislative processes are inclusive, participatory, and responsive to the needs of all Nigerians. High point of the event is the formal launch of the quarterly publication of the committee aimed at showcasing its activities to the public and bridging information gap. Jokeyatsa, TVC News, Abuja. And still to come on 